Good evening, everyone. Um, this is the uh, Port Authority Board meeting for September the 14th. Um, <clears throat> we need the approval or correction of uh, the minutes. Can we get a motion to approve or correct the minutes? Make a motion, we approve the minutes. Second. We got a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Passed. Uh, Tim? Actually, we don't have anybody here from the public, so Tim, uh, we'll put you up here. All right. So a couple of meetings back, I believe it was Amanda asked about the no swimming signs and could we include electroshock drowning information. So this is our new sign. Looks That's good. good. Um, we've been replacing the no swimming signs around with these. Beautiful. And we got That's enough sad. to add them at Trail Creek and Sprague's as well. Even though there's no electric at Sprague's, we'll put a couple there anyway. You got plenty of gear in there though. Yeah. Uh, we've been working on the Wi-Fi. It is better than it was, but apparently it's still not working for everybody. I've heard back from a couple people. Some say, yeah, it's much better. Others, not so much. We made a couple of adjustments that Meraki recommended, and then City IT came down and we replaced the fiber line going to the 700 dock antenna, which converts that radio back to a gateway as opposed to a repeater. And then we ran a temporary line from the 100 dock to the 800 to make that a gateway, which it has always been a repeater just because it was so awkward to get a line all the way down the end of the 800 dock. So we also did some more research with Meraki and realized that as we acquired and added Wi-Fi antennas over time, they're not always in the most ideal location. So the IT department and us reconfigured our plan and we're gonna be moving the antennas that are currently on the buildings. There's one on this building, there's one on the fish station, there's one on the North Bath House, there's one at the end of the 800, and there's one in the middle of the 100. We're gonna move those all more in and then switch back to the omnidirectional antennas. Right now we're using directional antennas on the perimeter. The idea was you could reach out further with the signal, which is what it's doing. The downside of that is your device may not be strong enough to reach back to the radio. So you can see the signal, you just can't connect to it because you're too far away for your laptop, tablet, whatever to talk back. So we're gonna reconfigure that. We even made up a, a little range circle and set it on each of the existing ones to see where the holes were and then rearranged, okay, where do we need to go to fill in all these gaps? So we'll be working towards that. The uh, upgrade project for the four, five, and 600 dock, which includes replacing the decking and redoing the electric, on those docks as well as the feed supply for all the docks on that side including seven and eight went out for bid on friday uh, we have a pre-bid meeting scheduled for this thursday over at the fish clean station and the bids are due at our september 28th meeting so look forward to that um, also Great Lakes Dock and Material, I believe is the name of the company. They're a subcontractor for the Corps of Engineers. They started resurfacing work on part of the dock or part of the pier uh, this past week. And if you see cement trucks or something like that going out there, that's what that is. So they're resurfacing about a, oh, it's probably a 75 foot long section right where the stairs come down from the catwalk. So they're cutting 10 inches off the top, demolishing that and re-pouring a top on it. The other portion of the work they were supposed to do is out at the lighthouse, but that has been temporarily canceled because of some uh, new information that they found in researching the end and doing some underwater video. Uh, they're concerned that the upgrades they wanted to make, the structure may not really be suitable for that. So they're redoing those plans and they'll probably rebid that project at a future time. And that's all I have for now, unless anybody has any questions. Did you say that, uh, Tim, that the, the changes that you have made for the Wi-Fi so far 
um, have made a difference, a, yeah, a bit of a difference? The, uh, the throughput on the data, we can see that on the dashboard, has gone way up. Okay. Like reconnecting that line to the 7 and adding that line to the 8. Okay. Um, the 700 dock went from second from the bottom to second from the top on data throughput. Um, so that's closer to where it was last year. But I think we're still having some other issues. Okay. But it made a huge difference converting it back to a gateway from a, a repeater. Well, that's good for our customers. Yeah. Any questions for Tim? Uh, maybe just a comment. I noticed uh, I think last meeting we voted on the bridge tender signs in the first two parking spots. It looks like those signs were up within a couple of days. Yeah, I think they Any were there like the very that? next day. <laughs> <laughs> so going okay. I think they were like it. I haven't heard anything back. Uh, well, we got a thank you right away from the county, but uh, I haven't heard anything since then. Okay. So. Any other questions or comments? All right, let's move on to uh, Mary Ann Palicki with our administration report. Our winter storage bills have went out last week, and people are starting to pay already coming in for that. And right now we're just getting ready for sending the bills out next month for the 2021 uh, season. And the income and everything was just the same as it was last time because we rented practically everything that we have out. And that's all I have right now. People are still looking for slips, though, We're still getting phone calls, even this late in the season. Any questions or comments for Mary Ann? Um, so you said bills for next season are going to go out uh, end of October? About this before the end, right okay. around the middle, a little awesome. past the middle. About the week of the 19th. Maybe just to comment to uh, fuel and diesel sales, have they been up this year compared to maybe last year? They're right about the same because it was a real slow start. The summer's been really good, but the spring was not. Okay. No other questions, comments for Marianne? Okay, we'll move on. Uh, Socrates, uh, for our budget and financial oversight. Well, Mary Ann gave me everything looks to be pretty much in order. I don't know if anyone has any questions, huh? but. And remember, these bills were basically for a month because there's been four weeks before the between the meetings. Have you had a chance to look it over? Some pretty big ones in here. Uh, Eighteen thousand dollars. That's for our petro. That's Pet resale for fuel. Petro for fuel. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is it what was it? It's almost seventy thousand dollars for sixty-eight five almost. Yeah, sixty-eight five for fuel, fuel for resale. Yeah. Okay. We have the generator they got put in. Yeah. Anybody have any questions about the bills to be paid? What's the uh, MB Electric? Is that for the testing? No. No. There's we two added, different uh, ones there. Yeah, we added a generator on the office building here. Oh, okay. And the idea for that is to keep the server running upstairs. Right now, the backup power supply up there will only run nine minutes. So that's long enough for the generator to kick on. If we can keep the server going, that's one step closer to keeping the gates working when the power goes off. Oh, I see. Yeah. And the other one was for the Trail Creek lights. We upgraded the, the parking lot lights at Trail Creek to LED. Yeah. Well, several of them had burned out. So then the question was, do we buy the same thing or just go through and switch them? Um, on the second page, the lawn service, is that a monthly or is that like a yearly That's cost a monthly. For okay. We're doing all our lawns down here and the George property and Bruce Memorial. Yeah, they do quite a bit of work. 
Yeah, we do. We do have like three things. I forget that sometimes. That we need. You got a lot more space than you think. Yeah, yeah. yeah the one we see right here. <laughs> Any other questions or comments? I'd like to entertain a motion to, to accept their bills to be paid. We have a motion. We'll make a motion. We have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. I only heard one aye. 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 Okay. Aye. aye. Bills will be paid. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's move on to John Haynes with uh, claims and insurance. John, you got anything? I've not heard anything, so I have nothing to report. Okay. We haven't had any claims or anything like that, Tim? Yeah. Okay. It's a good season. Well, Sam's not here uh, today for Ford Operations Personnel and Marina Policy, so I guess we have no report on that. Uh, Dan Messina, Boater Communications Special Events. Uh, it seems like the word has probably gotten out pretty much, at least on the four, five, six hundred dock that's going to be resurfaced this uh, fall and winter. Mm -hmm. Everybody was pleased to hear that and that the electric is going to be upgraded. Uh, new service underneath, mm -hmm. and of course everybody's curious if it's going to be done and ready by the spring when they're ready to put it back in. Uh, I told them pretty much what I knew, what I had heard. Right. Uh, pretty much all pleased with that. I uh, did have a couple questions uh, that came to me about individual parties on docks. If we're notified about it, uh, apparently one of the docks had a party two weekends ago and they are quite noisy and it was late. Uh, they had a band down here. Do we do we get notified that they're having those? Sometimes they're supposed to. They're supposed to. Okay. Yeah. Especially if they're going to have a band, but not everybody does. Not everybody notifies you. Okay. I, I'd have to say I was not being a 400 doc. I was not aware that we were supposed to. Yeah, we've so got how an can actual. I get that word out, maybe. We've got an actual form. We'll send a reminder to everybody. That was the question. Maybe send them out with something in the bills. Yeah. Uh, I really have nothing else. Uh, the weather has not been that great. The way we've been a lot of people down here the last couple of weekends. Uh, but hopefully okay. the next few will be nice and back to the summer spring weather. Any questions for Dan? No questions? All right. Uh, let's move on to uh, myself, Master Planning Special Projects. I really have nothing to report right now uh, based on what Tim has told you about the uh, about the upgrade and uh, the bids going out and so forth. So uh, anybody have any questions for me? I didn't make the, uh, I see that you don't have the uh, park board meeting on here, but I didn't make the park board meeting anyway. So I have no report for the park board meeting. No questions for me? Okay, Amanda, we'll move on to advertising public relations. Uh, nothing new to report now. Nothing new to report. Any questions for Amanda? Any comments? No questions, no comments? Let's move on to our attorney then. Attorney nothing Beckman. New to report. Nothing new to report. Well, this has been very short and very sweet, hasn't it? <laughs> They're not all like this, that's for sure. Uh, I only had one question about, uh, is there any new business? No new business. I had a question about some old business, about this, the status of the fire boat. Do you have any, any information about that? I haven't heard anything more. Earlier this year, the fire department was talking about it. Right. I haven't heard anything more. Could we uh, could we get a hold of them and find out what's the, what's going on with that and what the status of that is so we got some information on it? I'd appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, that's the old bit. Only old business. We have no guests, so I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion we adjourn. And a second. We are adjourned. Next meeting will be September 28th. Same place, same time. <laughs>